So here's a much more complex uh, question. A typical speed limit on a highway is 120 kilometers an hour. The M50 is a ring road around Dublin and has an average radius of 7,360 meters. The transport minister wants to turn the M50 into a fully banked ring road. What would be the highest angle of inclination the road can be, assuming a constant radius, given that firstly the friction is negligible, and secondly friction where mu equals 0 0.2 is accounted for? So this is a very tough question testing pretty much all elements of um, your mathematical skills. So go ahead and try this problem, and when you're ready, come back for the solution. So first we have to convert 120 kilometers an hour into meters per second, which should be um, fairly rudimentary, and you get 33 meters per second. And the radius is 7,360. So with our angle, we get that V equals uh, the square root of 9.8 times 7360 times tan theta. So we get tan theta is about 0 0.015, dot, dot, dot. So tan, or theta is 0.86 degrees. Now the second bit involves the slightly more complex looking formula. So we get, if we square both sides first, we get V squared over G or, so 33 squared over 9.8 times 7360, uh, which is a value we have before, so that's fine, is tan theta plus 0.2 over 1 minus 0.2 tan theta. So if we multiply by this entire bottom thing and expand everything out, we get tan theta plus 0.2 uh, equals 0 0.015, so that's the 0 0.015 times the 1, minus 3 by 10 to the 3 tan theta. So adding the tan thetas and taking away the 0.2, we get 1.003 tan theta is uh, minus 0 0.185, which gives tan theta as minus 10 and a half degrees. Now, you might be wondering why it's um, a positive, but because our angle, um, it, it actually should be negative. However, we're taking the magnitude of our angle here. So even though uh, tan is negative in this point, uh, because negative 10 degrees would actually look something like this relative to our perspective, we actually take it looking like this. So this is our about 10 and a half degrees. So angles are always taken positive, even if mathematically they shouldn't be, but in a more physical sense, they're always taken to be positive.